piece of it. So he went down with the ship. Not voluntarily, of course. He was tied to the mast. Fortunately, after the sharks had their way with him, um, the mast floated ashore. So we um, schlepped it up the coast, or up the, the river a bit, and made camp so we could trade with some people and uh, find a new ship. So we're looking for a ship. If you happen to have uh, one, we'd just like to like, check it out. To I'll come let aboard. you know. Oh. Yeah, we haven't seen any ships, but we do know where there's some elephant ears. Elephant ears. Yeah, they might come in handy. Oh, yes. I think we have I'm not sure pastry. if they float. Well, we have pastry in our camp, so. Maybe you two can get together. There you go. I love to talk. That's mine. <laughs> Mysterious new vehicles from the future. Infiltrating the pirate festival. How did they get these here? They haven't invented this technology for another 200 years. <laughs> Yes, I come to the Pirate Festival to get all my fake lashes. All your fake lashes? Lashes. Ah! 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 a slow one. He's a slow one, don't you? That's rare. He's dead. So is this what they do to everybody that has acne? <laughs> I think we should bring that back. Yeah. So wait a minute. When they weren't in jail, they didn't get to abuse you? Oh, yeah. But you got to... You didn't have to go to jail. But at least when you were at least when you weren't in jail, you could like move. There's more than one Davy Jones locker! So I found this nice airplane pillow. Not sure how I'm gonna get it on the plane. Damseldress.com. Go there for big boot airplane pillows. So Tony, what do you like to do when you're at the Pirate Festival? I like to try the corsets on. It's a manly thing. Judge me. Hey, Jersey Devil Sub Works. We got your work cut out for you. <laughs> Attention, Bill Mecca. Pirates Ahoy. They're looking to get you out of the soap business, man. And I thought I had a big head. That works. Guys. Jump Tony, that, that hat would fit me. Right there. That one. Yeah. This one? Yeah. That one? That would fit me. Probably. Here's the guy with the most thankless job in this whole place. By the way, you're, you're doing a great job, man. In the steel pants. Everybody? <laughs> Tony, uh, how long would you say we've been here at the uh, Pirate Festival? What, noon now? Something like that. Since about ten. I've been here since about nine. And uh, so have you seen any anybody get uh, raped? Or uh, No, but I'm still looking. Rob hey, wanna get raped? Rob? Uh, no. Well I, I save that I save that duty for my wife. Have you seen anybody like uh, I don't know, get uh, flogged or beaten? No. No. No, and I'm I'm sorely disappointed to say the least. I'm kind of thinking that this is the place where they uh, where they send all the pirates that dropped out of college. They obviously don't understand the need to kill people. Right. I don't get this. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been killed yet, and I'm incensed. I'm kind of surprised uh, the distinct lack of bo in this place. I was thinking that you know pirates probably not bathed for you know. Ages, maybe months at sea. Uh, stink, lack of reek around here. It's a hot day. I would think that uh, I would think that we could be 
be smelling some pit. A good pirate always smells like poop. Oh, there's something about a pirate walking around with a wine cooler that just doesn't seem right. What about, what about toddlers? Does that make them poop? Does that make them pirates? <laughs> it makes them butt pirates. Captain yeah. Poopy Pants. That guy's really tall. He's got two wooden legs. lazy, everything does something for you instead of you doing it for you. These people didn't actually give something up, they found themselves. They went out there and they did what God made them to do. You know, they're out there digging ditches, making water, purifying things, telling people about Christ, helping to educate people the way we were taught to educate, actually using our brain, not using a piece of calculator, not using something else to do what we're supposed to do in our own mind. Our mind is so intricate, our mind has so much knowledge and so much power that here in the U.S., you know, for the majority, we have just dummied ourselves down so far that we're just, you know, we're going to be a lost society. There's something my father always said, you know, he goes, mark my words, you know, what goes up must come down. The U.S., he loves it, he lives here, but he's just saying it because he can see the writing on the wall. Zombie! Zombie monkeys. No, even zombies have a purpose. They go out and kill. Yeah, they eat brains. They eat brains. At least they know they're supposed to. You know what? At least at least zombies hunt. They're like real zombies. You know, the ones that are real. Not like the fake zombies. 28 days later. Like, those guys could only run, like, maybe 30 miles an hour. Whereas, like, a real zombie... I think they could run like 90 miles an hour with their limbs like flying off and stuff. That would be cool. But so literally this whole uh, idea of civilization as you know, of civilized as as we uh, we have it today, you know, everything's computerized. Uh, it's a big deal if something is handmade. Whereas, uh, and, and that's still, like I said, it's a fairly modern invention, right? Like automation. Uh, it's, it's really a fairly modern thing. The idea of not something not being done by hand. Um, you know, we used to be, everything was done by hand. You had to go out and you had to hunt. Everyone hunted. And, and in fact, you know, like any movie you've seen where like, you know, you have like tribal people of, of any kind. Uh, like, you know, 10,000 B.C., right? Yeah, or, you know, even, I don't know, Dances with Wolves, even the classic, you know? Think about this. You have you have this old guy, right? He gets really old. And, man, he's way too old to be hunting. But guess what? He's out there hunting, right? He's out there hunting with the guys. And, it's, and the, you know, the day that he's not hunting is the day that he lays down, right? And when he lays down, he's pretty much ready to die. He's pretty much just ready to pass on. He's done. And he feels like, you know what? I did a lot. And I lived a full life. But you know what? My time is up, right? Like, if we're not doing something and being um, being good stewards of our lives, we, we already laid down. That's, that's what I'm saying. We already laid down. And we didn't even go hunting. Like when I was a kid, I was told, you know, don't express your anger. I know you're really angry, you're really mad, and uh, you're um, you need to control that temper, right? And, and and I would cry when I got hurt, and they would say, you know, don't cry, don't, you know, when I would get sad when my feelings get hurt, and I cry, and they said, no, don't cry. So what ended up happening is I ended up being an adult that's really mad about a lot of stuff, like just stupid stuff. Well, so I kind of, in the both ends thing, I kind of, like, 
make fun of that in a way, but at the same time, like, it's really, I gotta say, when I'm shooting both ends, when I'm doing those rants and doing those outbursts, it's, like, really, like, physically ex exhilarating. And I have to think it's, like, you know, this is, like, that aggression that I think is human. It's just built in, right? And we have to express it somehow, and I find it really exhilarating to express it in the form of video. Um, just the character acting, it's really... It's like I can get that rush of endorphins, and you have to think, man, why is it can't be that coincidental that like you know not going out hunting is a relatively new invention, right? Well, this is I'm recording this just literally minutes before I sit down to edit this vlog. So uh, I'm, I, Monday I bought a Mac, uh, so I'll be getting a, a Mac. It's a 27 inch. 3.4 gig quad core i7 with 8 gigs of RAM and a 1 terabyte hard drive. Now, the guy at the store, he told me that, you know, 8 gigs is maxed out, which I know that's not true. It could have been 16, and I could have used 16 because I'm doing video editing. And they told me that the 1 terabyte drive is the biggest one that they have, which is totally wrong because they do 2 terabyte drives. I guess he just didn't want a special order. Anyway, found this all out after the fact, but so I'm gonna probably call up the Apple store. They also said that um, that 27 inch one is the only one that we could get that 3.4 gig i7 processor on it. But I know that the 21 inch also uses an i7 processor. Is there something that limits you from being able to use the higher, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, I guess I'm doing a little bit of rambling, but I, but I just kind of want to let you guys know uh, this Friday, uh, for those of you who do watch my vlog, I will give you a heads up. Both ends is going to be rescheduled for next week, not this week. I uh, kind of got myself behind schedule, and here's really the, the way it is. I don't want to give you guys crappy quality, so I want to give you guys the top quality, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be chintzy about it and chop together an episode in a day uh, when, you know, I know that what I've, what I've tried to expect of myself is something higher than that. So I'm going to put it off for one week so that I can get back on schedule because I'm like a day behind on all my video schedule. So I'm just going to make a quick video for this Friday, basically telling the people that only tune in at both ends um, what's going on, and um, basically telling them what I just told you. So hey, you guys get a little something special for watching this video all the way through. Um, anyway, the Mac is, is going to hopefully streamline that process and make it um, a little more a little more schedule friendly so that I can actually you know get these videos out to you guys on time and uh, and then eventually you know when things pick up a little more uh, maybe I'll hire a producer and uh, you know if you guys are out there you're a producer and you're looking for a regular gig um, talk to me I don't know when this is gonna happen but you know things are definitely growing they're growing fast and uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers, all my regular subscribers for sticking with me. You guys are awesome. Especially those guys have been around since the beginning. I love all you guys. Even you new, new people. We've got some really great new people that have joined the channel. And, uh, and thank you to you guys. But I, but I do have a special place in my heart for those people that have been with me for the full duration. Uh, for everything that I've been through so far, you guys have stuck with me and I don't... <laughs> I don't have words to convey. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the tube. Peace out. I love to talk.